Before we look at how to show fractions on number lines, let's review what a fraction is. You know how to count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. But what if you have an amount in between 0 and 1, like this? This is 2 thirds of a pie. There are two slices left. That number becomes the numerator. That's the number on top. The pie was divided into three slices total. One, two, three. This number becomes the denominator, the number on the bottom. Two out of three slices are remaining. That is two-thirds of a pie. How much is two-thirds of a pie? It's more than zero. Zero means nothing, no pie at all. So we definitely have more than that. It's also less than one. One means a full pie. We don't have that much. We have an amount that's in between zero and one. Now, let's learn how to write fractions on a number line. Since we just talked about two-thirds of a pie, let's use two-thirds as our first fraction. Here's a number line that goes from zero to one. Where does two-thirds belong? Well, two-thirds means that if you divided something whole into three pieces, you'd have two of those pieces. So let's start by dividing one into three pieces. These are thirds. Now let's count. Zero, one-third, two-thirds, one. Or we could say three-thirds. Three-thirds and one are the same number. So to show two-thirds on a number line, we put a dot right here. Notice that it's closer to one than it is to zero. Let's ask ourselves, does this make sense? Well, when we have two-thirds of a pie, that's closer to being a full pie than an empty pie, right? Okay, let's look at some other fractions. How about one-half? One-half means we have one out of two pieces. Let's start with an empty number line again, going from zero to one. Let's divide it into two even pieces. Zero, one-half, one, also known as two halves. Here's the location of one half. How about a harder one? Let's draw seven tenths. Here's our number line again. If we divide it into ten even pieces, it looks like this. Let's label each tenth. And here's the location of seven tenths, right here. There's a common mistake when creating number lines, and let's see what that is. Let's say we want to show fourths. Some people might think that to show force, we have to draw four lines. Let's try that out. But this doesn't give us fourths. It actually gives us fifths. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. To divide into fourths, we only need to draw three even lines. Here are our three lines. And now we can count four segments. Let's do one last problem. This time, we're going to start with the number line that goes from zero to two. How would we show four fifths? First of all, remember that four fifths is between zero and one, so it's going to be in this part of the number line. So, let's divide this part of the number line into fifths. Now, counting from zero, we have zero, one fifth, two fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, four-fifths. Here's the location of four-fifths on our number line. 